Drawing is a fantastic way of connecting with your environment and capturing your experience. It can be used as a tool for looking that helps us slow down and notice new things. The marks you make are a trace of what you saw, a memory contained on the page. It's essentially a record of a moment in time where you stopped and were truly present in your surroundings. So today I'm here at Forest Vale where I'm going to take a closer look at nature through drawing. You'll be using drawing as a tool to look a little closer. You'll be changing pace, slowing down and giving yourself the opportunity to discover something completely new that perhaps on another given day you might have simply walked on by. Let's take trees as an example. Every species of tree is different. Every individual tree is unique. And actually, the same tree looks different during different seasons, and even the light on it changes over the course of a given day. So have a wander around the forest of your choice and see what catches your eye. If you're struggling or feel intimidated, just stop where you are and see what's in front of you. For me, I picked this vine around the tree trunk. When making slightly longer drawings, it's important to make sure that you're comfortable and able to work easily. Having the board set up in front of you with a piece of paper clipped to it so the wind doesn't catch it is very handy. And also having the board directly in front of the object means you can make comparisons um, in quite close proximity. In this video, I'll show you how to make a drawing of your woodland companion. So whether it's your four-legged friend who's begging you to visit the woodland trails, or whether it's some wildlife you meet on the way, in this video, I'll show you how to get that down on your piece of paper. Choose somewhere you can be in close proximity to your wildlife or chosen companion. Here I found a field with some horses in and was able to set up quite easily on this fence. I've brought my drawing board and I've got some clips. Chances are the wildlife's going to be moving and you'll have to move around too, so having something mobile is quite handy. So this is me making a drawing from that position by the fence of one of the horses in the field. The horse is quite far away and um, I want you to notice that I'm drawing quite lightly, quite broadly to begin with and as I become surer of the general shapes, the large shapes, I then begin to press a bit harder and go in for more detail. I'm really relying on my observational powers here. I'm spending way more time looking out in front of me than I am at the actual drawing. I'm trying to connect what I see with my hand and have my hand follow what my eye is seeing, which means drawing fast and drawing loosely. Try not to make it all about outline. Try and get your lines to come in and out of the form. I'm using my drawing material to constantly make corrections and alterations to capture these horses wrapped up in their blankets. Try not to worry too much about the outcome. It's your unique interpretation of these tasks that we actually want to see. Enjoy the process of slowing down to look and record what surrounds you. The result will be unique to you and whatever this looks like will serve to jog your memory of a place and time where you stopped for a better look.